Hey people, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, small, inexpensive little parts on mowers uh, that are very, very important. And this is an Arians Zero Turn. You notice I've got the front forks off of it, the front uh, caster forks. And man, let me tell you, getting these forks off, I've been doing this forever. And I've never had this much trouble getting the front forks off a of zero turn ever. Uh, but what had happened, these front tubes right here, the front fork stem goes up through two bearings. There's one bearing right here and one sets right here. And the, the fork stem goes up through them and it's got a big wash and a bolt. But on top of this is a little cap. It's a little metal cap that pops down in there to keep water and dirt and crap out. And this mower was missing both of those caps for a few years. And finally, this caster on this side stopped spinning around. So he brought it to me. And of course the bearings were shot because water, dirt, and everything else been sitting down in here. Even though they're sealed bearings, when water just sets in here, it's gonna get through there. Uh, and little particles of dust and dirt and everything else. And the bearings had seized up. And he brought it by, I said, oh, well, no problem. I'll pull your front forks off, put some new bearings in there. We'll be good to go. And it took forever to get these front forks out of these bearings. They were seized to the inner part of the bearing. And what I did, imagine this is the top of the fork right here. I took a torch, one of those handheld map gas torches, and I blew flame right underneath this and I heated up all the way around here and I just got it as hot as I could and I took a big sledgehammer and a big fat punch and put on top of the bolt that's on top of the stem and just beat it out. Uh, and it took a while to get them both off of there. But I finally got the forks off of it, but the lower bearing, the bearing that's down here was still stuck on the stem on the fork. And they should slide off, <laughs> but they were so rusty. Here's one of the forks right here, and the bearings were stuck right here. And I tried everything I could think of, air hammers, chisels, I mean, everything I've got here to get that bearing off of there, and nothing was moving. I mean, it wouldn't even try to move. Heat it up with a torch, everything, nothing. I've never seen bearings that rusted and stuck to a, a shaft ever. And I, I grew up in a shop. <laughs> so I ran the Harbor Freight and I bought the Pittsburgh bearing separator and puller set. And I gotta tell you, this damn thing works. It took so much torque. Here's the last one I took off right here. The bearing's still sitting in it, but you know, I thought, well, this thing's from Harbor Freight. I put, you know, much torque on this thing, and I'm going to strip out the threads right here or on this bolt, you know, or I'm going to break the threads off one of these standoffs, you know, something. I've been shopping to Harbor Freight forever, and I kind of know, you know, what's good stuff from there and what's absolute Chinese garbage. Uh, so I took a chance on this Pittsburgh. This was a $50 set. It comes in this little blow-molded case. It has a smaller bearing puller uh but you wouldn't believe and i've got a a really big really strong half inch air impact that we usually if it don't come loose we'll snap it off <laughs> i mean that thing's just a monster and i put a ridiculous amount of torque on these things before these bearings started to move and this pittsburgh puller it didn't even phase it it didn't strip out any threads it didn't break anything it didn't bend anything this thing is a beast and I came down, finally I got mad. I just came down on this thing with that half inch air impact and I thought something's gonna break or come loose and I just pulled the trigger. And I'll be damned, this thing didn't pull the thing off. Uh, I'm just very impressed with this thing. If it took these off, it should take off anything I ever run into because I've never seen bearings stuck on a shaft like these where it was, I thought they were welded on there. They were so tight. But anyway, uh, my purpose of this video is 
the little caps that go on top of here are really cheap just a small cheap part but they are very very important uh they can save you you know the hours i just spent taking these off and getting those bearings off if these caps are still there it wouldn't have been that bad so if you've got a zero turn and the top is open like this which most of them are make sure your caps are here some of them have a flat cap some of them are like a little dome if yours are gone and you don't feel like looking up the parts diagram go to home depot and get a couple of pvc pop end caps for plumbing and just find two end caps that will fit over this just right and smear a little silicone inside that cap and push it down on there and and use that just anything you can do to keep water and debris out of the top of these tubes you need to do because it can end up uh, first of all to make your bearings go out prematurely and when they do go out, you may run into what I did and spend half a day trying to get these bearings out of here or get the fork off of here and then trying to get the bearings off the fork. It's just ridiculous what I just went through because these little $10 caps are missing. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I got to get these things back together. Get back to work. Catch me later.